Hi everyone, my name is Toby, and today I will present a feature of the Mostly AI Synthetic Data Platform that I'm personally very excited about. So let's assume you created a brand new synthetic data set or someone shared a synthetic data set with you. Um, of course, you can look at the samples here on the UI. You could already in the past download the data as a CSV or per K file. But let's be honest, there's one tool we all still like to use to explore data and that's Excel. So now we're allowing you to actually download directly out of the platform the synthetic samples as an Excel file. And I'm doing this here right now. And you can, of course, open this in Excel or open Office or any, any tool of your, your, your choice, really. Let me just increase the size here. And the way it works is that you will get one worksheet here that contains a table of content where you see for every table that you create a synthetic data set, you will have one row here uh, and up to 10,000 samples of synthetic data. So we're limiting the number of samples in order not to overload Excel. Of course, you don't want to use this for any advanced statistical analysis, but it's just a great way to really get a first glimpse of the data. So let me let here have a look here at the census data set. Um, here they are, my synthetic um, individuals. And I can, you know, start exploring that data here. Um, we have pre-filtered um, or filters and sorting um, functionality here out of the box, so very convenient to use. And I can, for example, do a quick pivot table analysis. We all love pivot tables. And there are two variables in that data set, education and education numeric, which is basically the same thing. Let's just look at how our model has learned the relationships between those two variables. And with a pivot table, I can do this very, very quickly. And I see that the correlations have been learned to a very high degree. So mostly only one representation, one numerical representation of the categorical variable education, only just a small deviation here. And I'll throw in one bonus here in this quick video, which is some information about our temperature setting. So you will, you will notice here that this is a temperature one. I, I called the file name temperature one because I created the synthetic data set with the temperature set to one. Now, I did this previously with the setting of temperature to two. And let's now just briefly look what this actually has done to the data doing the same kind of pivot table analysis. Again, looking here at education and education numerical. And what you will see is much more diversity in the data. So turning up the temperature will create more diversity in your synthetic data. And yeah, with um, our new feature to download data directly as an Excel file, you, for example, have here a very easy um, way to already um, do that quick analysis and get some insights here on the data. Thanks for watching. Bye.